Alright, so this is a game I've been working on for a little while now. It's got a interaction system for rigid body objects. So you're able to pick up physics objects, move them around, and they have this um, almost spring-like effect on them. It doesn't clip through walls, it's really good like that. So that'll be the topic for today's video. Picking up physics objects. I'm just going to start off by creating a new Unity project and make sure it's 3D and just wait for that to load. Okay, so once Unity opened up, I've gone and installed the standard assets just to get a first person character in there. So I'm able to move around and interact with objects as a first person character. But this can work on any camera. So once your player or camera is set up, you want to go into create 3D object cube. And this is what I'm going to use to pick up. So I'm going to add a rigid body to it. And then I'm going to create a new material just so I'm able to see between cube and the ground and just make that black. Okay, I can see that a bit better now. Okay, so back in the scene, um, we want to go into our camera that we're using and add a new component and this component will oh script sorry will manage all of our um, picking up the object so first we're going to create a private game object called held object and this is just going to hold the object that we're currently holding then we want to create a public float called pickup range and this is how far we want to be able to reach when we're picking up objects so I've just set that to five um, you can get rid of the start function, we won't need that currently. And then in the update function, we want to create a if statement and input.getKey down. And then keycode.e is whatever key you want to press when you want to pick up an object. We're going to create a raycast hit called hit, then open up another if statement calling a raycast from our transform position to our transformed transform direction vector3 dot forward then send it out to hit and put in your pickup range. So what this does is raycast out and allow us to pick up the object that we're looking at at a certain distance. And then I'm going to go and create a new void called pickup object and then pass in a game object called pickup object. And this will manage um, what object we pick up and setting our held object. And we just want to call that and our hit.transform.gameObject. And in our pick object void, we want to create an if statement. We want to see if our pickup object get the component rigid body. So we want to check again if it has a rigid body. And then we want to get that rigid body and set it to a variable. And you just want to set that to a rigid body. And then with our object rig, first thing we want to do is um, turn on use gravity and set that to false. And then object rig dot drag. I set it to 10. It's optional though, it just makes the object move a bit slower through the air. And then we want our object rig dot transform dot parent to be equal to a parent object. And we'll set that up in a second. And this hold parent, we just want to create it as a public transform and hold parent. And this will sit in front of our camera that our object will walk on to. So it will always sit at a set distance away. And then with our hold object, we want to set it to our pickup object. 
So it'll just assign that variable. And then we want to go back into our update function and create another if statement and see if our held object is not equal to null. And create another void, call this move object. And then in our held object, if it's not equal to null, we want to move it. So this will just update the position of the object each frame. Okay, so now down in the move object void, we first want to see if vector3.distance between our held object and the parent object. is less than, oh sorry, greater than 0.1. And if it is, we want to have vector3.move direction, and we want to set that to um, our held parent dot position minus our held object dot transform dot position. And this just works out the direction that we want to move the object in to move it toward the parent. Then with our held object, when I get component, the rigid body, and we want to add force, and then set that to the move direction, and times that by our move power, which is a variable we're also going to set up. So at the top here, create a public float, call it move force, and set it to a quite a high number, because this is what we'll be using to move our object around. Okay, so back up at the top of the update function, I'm going to create another if statement and see if our held object is not equal to null. And then open that up around our recast function. And also open up an else statement. And then we're going to create a new void. We're going to call it drop object. And this will manage dropping the object and put this into our else statement. And it's going to do the exact same as our pickup object, except the opposite of it. So we don't want to use gravity. Oh, sorry, we want to use gravity. We want to set the drag back to one, and we want to remove the parent. So use gravity is going to be equal to true. Actually, we'll create a variable to hold the rigid body up the top, just so we don't have to reference it twice. I'll just call that. Uh, rigid body, held rig, and just set that to held object dot get component rigid body. It just makes everything a bit easier to read and shortens it up. So then we also want to set our held rig dot drag back to its original value of one, and then set our held object dot parent to equal to null. And then held object is going to be equal to null as well. And then you just want to save the script and head back into Unity. And now if we hit play to go and test it, you'll notice that when we try and pick up an object, we get a null reference. And it's because we hasn't, haven't set up the held uh, object, held parent, sorry. So you just want to create an empty on your camera. And I'll just set a color for that and call it object handler and then you just want to move it out in front of your camera where you would like the object to be held and then make sure you assign that onto the script and run it again so now uh, we're getting an error just go check that ah sorry held object should be equal to null. So if we don't have an object, it'll recast to pick up a new one. If we do have an object, it'll drop it. And play again. And there we go, you can pick up the object. And see how it's set to the parent. And you can move that around to set up the distance of where you want the object to be when you're holding it. And then you can just click the button again to drop it and pick it up. Of course, there are a lot of things that could be edited to maybe fix that up. 
a little bit more. Um, you might want to add tags to your objects that you can pick up, so you can't just pick up anything with a rigid body. And then just mess around with some of the values to get it good. There you go, so that's a bit smoother now. Just adjusted the force. And that's looking good. And there you go. That's picking up physics objects in Unity.